Okay, here we are again with Rent a Girlfriend Season 2 Episode 3. And yeah, last episode we got some information about Shizuru from her grandmother. Um, and that is that she is kinda awkward when it comes to like recognizing and accepting her weaknesses. And that she is more like putting up a facade to hide her fragile self. And that she's a needy girl. Um, and I would say that's interesting because so far she didn't seem that way. She always seemed like strong and confident, I would say. Um, but I mean, we saw her also like being like depressed a bit in episode one of season two when she didn't got the recognition from the director. But I mean, I guess that's normal that something like that, like a big opportunity can hit you hard. Um, but besides that, I would say she always seemed more like on the strong side and confidence side. So yeah, I guess that's interesting to get this like other, uh, other perspective from, from a grandmother. Um, but yeah, if you like what you see, or if you want to support me, leave a like, subscribe or comment. I would really appreciate it and it would really help me. But yeah, let's get to the episode. Returning girlfriend. That's bad. Oh, you don't say. <laughs> Ooh. I'm a night owl. Same. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on, Kazuya. Don't make it awkward. Don't get your hopes up, Kazuya. Just keep it cool. Be normal. I mean, I guess that's normal. <laughs> exactly. Okay, yeah. That's another thing. I mean, maybe it's unlocked. That's good. That would be good. That would be convenient. <laughs> oh my god. Careful, Kazuya. Be careful. <laughs> Don't do anything inappropriate. <laughs> Close call. She slips. Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just holding you. I mean, why grab her butt and not her hips? Why is he grabbing her butt? Yeah, exactly. That's more appropriate, dude. <laughs> oh boy. Of course. <laughs> How did this happen? <laughs> Wouldn't it make more sense if she would fall on top of him, not the other way around? <laughs> and then she kicked you, so be careful. I mean, that's true. She looks good. <laughs> Falcon punch. Oh, who's now? Who's next? <laughs> the mailman? I don't think so. Oh yeah, we saw it in the preview. Mommy. Why is she here? <laughs> exactly, huh? Why? So she just came by on a whim, basically? So well, he didn't invite her at least. <laughs> That's at least something. That would have been even more awkward. Yeah, but why? What's the what's the deal that she's coming by right now, just like that? <laughs> he didn't look. I don't understand why the doors are like that in Japan. I don't know if that's like actual how the Japanese doors are, but I don't understand why it's the way it is. It seems so unsafe. Is she going inside? <laughs> Snooping around? 
Uh oh. That's a bad hiding place. Very bad. If she comes in, she sees them right away. Oh. Is she doing the step? Okay. She isn't just going on. I mean, that that's at least is something redeeming about her, right? That she's not just going inside the in, inside the apartment when she thinks that he's not home to snoop around or some shit. Oh yeah. I mean, she just left, right? If you go outside, she can't see you. I don't know, it never happened to me. <laughs> or maybe she gets an idea. Uh oh. What did she figure out? Oh! Oh! Uh oh, the death stare. No, she sprints back. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Oh my god. They don't forget the shoes, but the back. Bad topic. Because the door. The key. I mean, you are right next to her. That's the shortest way. Now she opens the door and mommy's right in front of the door and just wants to knock. And he is going for it. Again? It always turns out weird. <laughs> I mean, I guess this went as well as it could could have. Oh, are they dead? I mean, what other reason could there be that she has no parents? Okay, he left, okay. I mean, that's also a way. Or that they maybe like work overseas. Right, she never mentioned them or anything, just her grandma. Damn. So is that why she wants to be an actress? Turned off. I mean, not really? And that's not bad, right? Who would be like, yeah, pff, I'm done with you. How dare you? <laughs> I mean, I think that's a good reason to be an actress. And I mean, she she seems to like it and puts a lot of work into it. Oh my god. No. I mean, I guess that's the case when you, when your parents want to be, want you to be the heir to something. Right? Exactly. Again, we saw her notes with all the details. Crazy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, there she is in disguise again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's pretend. Oh? Why? Did I miss something? I don't know what the meaning is of that, really. Or is this just like a hi? Like, yo, what up? 
<laughs> Small things can make people happy. Small gestures or other things can be enough to make the day for a person better. Uh oh, mommy. And that's episode three. Damn, that went by fast. Jesus. Maybe after credit scene? Oh, here we go. Is mommy coming in? I saw the back. Oh, he makes... What? How? Does he have cameras in his eyes? Oh, <laughs> he's fantasizing. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you lost it indeed, dude. I bet mommy comes in. Yeah, always. He's always blurting it out. Bruh. Yeah. <laughs> Nuke our relationship, indeed. Bruh. What's with all this, these pictures? <laughs> Kazuya is on a trip. I mean... Oh, there she is! Boing? Mm-hmm. Is she mentioning it? I guess this is the end, right? I guess this is the end. Ha! Oh, mm-hmm. Okay, this was episode three, and man, I'm excited for the next episode because of Mami. Um, because she went to his apartment, and I want to know why. Why did she go there? Was it because she wanted to get some information about him and Shizuru, or just Shizuru? Or why else would she go there? Definitely not to be nice to him, because we know that Mami is a bitch and we also know that she has her deaths there going on all the time when no one is looking and th and that she hates everyone and just pretends to be nice to everyone um so yeah why which is also funny because many people people hate mommy because th of the way she is but i personally like her for the for those reasons because i'm just wondering why why is she the way she is what happened to her that she turned out that way and I'm also wondering, like, before season one started, when Kazuya and Mami, ba Mami basically were in a relationship, did she like him and started that relationship? Or did she just do a fake relationship with the intent of breaking up with him at some point to make him miserable? Because maybe that's the only thing that gives her fulfillment in her life. If she does fake rela relationships and breaks up with people... Or like screws around with people in other ways to make them miserable. Um, makes me wonder. And that's why I like mine. Because it's so mysterious why she is the way she is. Um, and now we saw at the end of the episode that she confrontates Kazuya. And I'm interested to see what she's talking about. Maybe she's like, yeah, I was at your apartment yesterday and you weren't there. But the door was unlocked and I saw a bag in your apartment. Who's bag is that explain yourself or maybe she's just keeping it like more natural like i was at your apartment you weren't there well what's up um but yeah besides that we got some more information about shizuru like last episode we got like information about her character more like that she's needing all that stuff um in this episode we got more like backstory on her family and that's basically that her father left when she was young her mother died soon after and her grandpa also died soon after that i think or like no a few years later i think when she was in high school i think um and so the whole reason why she wants to become an actress which we also now found out because before that we also knew that she wanted to do it because it was a dream but now we know why is because she promised her grandpa that she would be an actress at some point in the when she's grown up and yeah the grandpa is dead and now her goal is to become an actress and allow her grandma to see her on a silver screen which i think is a very good goal and we saw that she really loves doing the acting job because she is very detailed when it comes to like the character she's playing like with all the details like how is the character and what makes this character how the character is basically and she's very detailed about it which you can only be really if you really like it right because if you wouldn't like something you wouldn't be that detailed you would do you would do your research maybe and try 
to do some good stuff, but you wouldn't be that detailed. That you have like a whole block about the character and notes and everything. It's crazy. And so, yeah, which gives more depth about Shizuru, which is very interesting that we got like two episodes with backstory to her now, which changes how we see her, right? Because before that we saw, oh yeah, she is Shizuru, she is like strong and confident and does this rent, uh, rent a girlfriend thing to get money for her dream to be an actress. So, I mean, she's good looking, she wants to be an actress, makes sense, she likes it, but now we know why. We have like this more depth and we know that she's not as strong as we thought she would be. And I think that's great. I wonder if we get more information about Shizuru this, this season or if that's it for now and we just carry on with other things. But I guess we will see that in the next episodes which I'm very excited about. But yeah, if you like what you saw, and if you want to support me, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. I would really appreciate it, and it would really help me. But yeah, thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.